Hey peeps, what's up, Manji here, back with another video. And if you've just gotten an iPhone and you are wondering how do you use this thing, how do you use the gestures on your iPhone, that is what we're going to cover in this video. Now, we're going to show you how you can switch between different applications, how you can go to the home screen, how can you access your control center, make payments via Apple Pay, force restart, place an emergency call, take a screenshot on your iPhone. So we are going to use the iPhone 14 Pro running iOS 16.2 for the purpose of this video. So without any further delay, let us get down to business. So this here is the home screen of our iPhone. Now to move over to the next one, you have to just swipe over and this is your second home screen with all your other applications. To open any application, let us say we want to go into settings. You just tap on it. Now, how do you go to your home screen from here? Well, all you need to do is swipe up from the bottom and let go that is it now on the bottom once you open any application you will see this gesture bar as well now to go to my home screen again swipe up and let go bam there it is swipe up let go we are on the home screen and this gesture of going to the home screen will work from any screen so let us say i am in settings and accessibility again swipe up let go i am on the home screen Next up, if you swipe down from the top right, you will be able to access your control center. And this is wherein you can turn off your Wi-Fi, turn off your Bluetooth, enable or disable them, switch your brightness, your volumes. You can also turn on or off the flashlight and again, swipe up and you'll be back to your home screen. Now, in case you want to customize what all things you are seeing in your control center, all you have to do is go into settings, go into control center and let us say you want to add alarm. So I will tap on plus and now alarm should be visible in my control center. If you want to remove it, tap on the minus, select remove and bam, here it is. It has now been removed. And in case you want to reorder them, I think you can press and hold and then move the camera up. And at this point the flashlight icon has moved over and again swipe up back to the home screen then if you swipe down from the left top left now this is my lock screen and if i want to customize i'm going to say press and hold over there and then i get the option of customizing so i can customize the lock screen and i can customize the home screen as well and then again swipe up let go we are back to our home screen and for a detailed tutorial on how to customize the lock screen change the wallpaper and stuff we do have videos for those which can be found in the description of this video next up let us jump over to multitasking now if you swipe up and hold it is going to open the recents or your applications which are open in the background so i swipe up i hold i see this i let go so these are all the different applications which are open in the background and let us say i want to go to safari so i will swipe over tap safari bam here it is i am in safari now even if you are within an application and you perform the same gesture of swipe up and hold and then you see the different applications you let go bam here it is let us say i want to go to twitter here it is i'm now on twitter and again swipe up let go we are on the home screen another trick of switching between different applications is if you swipe from the bottom in either direction it will switch between the applications which are open in the background in the same order so right now twitter and then we have safari so let us try that swipe down twitter swipe from the right here it is bottom right i am switching between the different applications and similarly you can swipe in the other direction as well to switch between the applications again swipe up let go we are on the home screen then in case you want to kill any application which is running in the background how do you do that so you swipe up you hold we are accessing our recent share and let us say i want to kill the twitter application from running in the background all you need to do is swipe up similarly if you want to kill multiple applications i think you can use like three fingers press and hold and then swipe up wherever the touch was detected those applications are now killed and are no longer running in the background and before you ask me hey manji do we have like a clear all button to kill all the applications which are running in the background unfortunately apple thinks that is not necessary 
Next up, let us talk about the back gesture. Now, the back gesture on iPhones and iOS is not as mature as it is on Android. But let us say you are in settings. Now, if I want to go back, all I have to do is swipe from the left edge towards the right edge. That is it. So if I swipe from the left edge towards the right edge, I am invoking the back gesture. But, but, but now if I want to go to the home screen and I perform the same gesture one more time it is not going to work I have to use the swipe up and go to home screen other than that if you ask me hey Manji what if I swipe from the right towards the left like you can do on Android do I go back unfortunately the answer to that is no so to go back you have to swipe from the left edge towards the right edge and the reason behind that is Apple thinks that if you are swiping from the right edge to the left edge means you want to go forward. So let us give it a try in Safari. I swipe from the left edge towards the right, I go back. I swipe from the right edge towards the left edge, I go forward. So that is their thinking in not giving you the back gesture from the right edge. Next up, how do you take a screenshot on your iPhone? Well, it is pretty easy. You have to press the side button and your volume up button at the same time and let go of them quickly. So here it is. I will press the side button and the volume up button in, at the same time and let go pretty fast. Bam, here it is. Bam, here it is one more time. Screenshot taken without any issues. Now what if you are in a situation wherein you need to place an emergency call? Now in all countries and regions except India, all you need to do is press and hold the side button and volume down. Once you do that, you will get a menu to either power off your device or you can also place an emergency call. Now if you are in India and you want to place an emergency call, all you have to do is press the side button three times simultaneously and it is going to place an emergency call. Now in case you have enabled your accessibility triple side button by going into settings accessibility and once you are in accessibility you scroll down and you have your accessibility shortcut so this is where you can configure the triple click of the side button if you have enabled this and you are in india and you want to place an emergency call then you can press and hold the side button and your volume up or volume down and that brings us to your customization of the side button so i showed you how you can enable triple click and bam here it is once i perform a triple click whatever options i have chosen over there i can select it increase contrast and if i do triple click one more time i can then disable it so where do you find these options again they are in settings and, and you can go into accessibility scroll down you should have the option of accessibility shortcut to custom the triple click of your side button similarly if you have set up Apple pay and you have a card in your wallet if you double press the side button you should get your card it will try to recognize your face and once it recognizes your face you should be able to use Apple pay by using the NFC service so let me give you a small introduction over here and here it is once it recognized my face it is telling me hold near reader and now i can use apple pay and next gesture we have is if you swipe down on your home screen from the center this is going to open your system wide search and herein you can search for contacts messages whatever word you type in over here it will search your applications contacts messages so if you're looking for a specific text in a message this is how you're going to do that then we also have one handed mode so for this first thing you need to do is go into settings once you are in settings you need to go into accessibility here and go into touch and make sure that reachability is enabled once you do that if i swipe down on this gesture bar bam here it is i can now access the things which were on top and i could not reach it with one hand swiping down like so gets you your content shifted down which makes one-handed use easier and last but not the least let us say the touch screen on your iphone stops working or your iphone is frozen and you have to force restart your device so 
another trick to force restart your device is you press volume up let go press volume down let go and then you press and hold the side button so volume up i press volume down i press let go press and hold the side button and once i see the apple logo at that point i can let go of this side button so again i am pressing and holding the screen went black and once i see the apple logo at that point i will let go of the power button and i have successfully force restarted my iphone and pretty soon i should be on the home screen and there it is beeps those are the essential gestures which you need to know if you've gotten yourself a new iphone and of course we were doing this on my iphone 14 pro running ios 16.2